just uh, taking care of the neck beard. I go back and forth between feeling like eh, it looks slobby kebabby to have the th and then I'll think I look really weird with the ads. All I know is I cannot do baby face. So my video about me losing my quad has been up for almost two days now and I was actually really nervous about it because uh, first off nothing that day went I thought it was gonna go so I kind of was making it up as I was going and also kind of put myself a little bit more out there if that makes sense and the response has been good so thank you guys very much Today I'm gonna try to get a plan done a few of you suggested that I 3d print a quadcopter. The one I chose to print, pretty long print, so I've been making the pieces over the past couple of days. Those green pieces that I printed last night at the start of this video were the arms for that. And I started the print for the very last piece before I went out to get the coffee. So while that finishes up, I'm just gonna run around and get a few things done. And this here, cheers. I just got to this high school for a really quick warm-up session. Anyway, let's fly. successfully drank, errands have successfully been run, and we flew a fun spot. Now we're gonna build a drone. Oh wait, you can't. So the plan had been to get lots of cool close-up artistic shots of this build. That's not going to happen. I'm taking the guts from what's left over from the pumpkin drone and my plan had just been to kind of do like a spinal transplant and just drop everything in. As it turns out, because of the way this design, the wires need to be much, much longer. So we've got to solder all of this into here. So actually a bunch of cut sped up clips have never felt more appropriate because I'm racing the daylight trying to get this done. I'd say we have about 40 minutes of reliable daylight. I know this looks like a mess, but it's actually, we're pretty close. So close to being done. I have lost the race against time in two ways. One, the sun is just about gone. Two, Bryce is here. So hey guys. We're still gonna fly this. All right, we are doing the front yard hover test to see if it'll even fly. Oh my God, it flies. Oh man. <laughs> we have liftoff. It is upset. There's just some bad vibration, man. Look at that. It's like, um, because it's plastic, it's vibrating a lot, which is really upsetting the flight controller. So it flies really, 
really bad. <laughs> what I need to do is go back in there and put some like rubber dampeners. Uh, oh. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take this to um somewhere with concrete and see how bad we can smash. Apparently I've done something wrong on the way to the garage and we are getting pulled over. How are you doing? Do you have your license registration proof of insurance? Yes. Is this the up-to-date one? The problem is I never throw away them once they're expired, so I get all the old ones in here. Because that's your tab that's supposed to be on the vehicle right now. This <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm on a roll here. Like where are you guys heading tonight? To a uh, parking garage, because I just finished building this 3D printed drone that I was going <laughs> to experiment out. with. But Apparently I rolled through a stop sign a little. I'm just excited to get to the flying. Whoops. We've arrived at the parking garage. The officer was very nice. Apparently, I didn't come to a complete stop at a stop sign. He let me off with a good deal. He, he reduced the ticket. Super nice guy. I totally deserve whatever I got. Anyways, very excited to try this. My plan is to not bring this back in one piece. I really want to push it until I'm flying it too hard and it will probably get smashed and I want to see what happens to a 3D printed drone, but it's really pretty. One last note about this, this design is by a user on Thingiverse that goes by the name Emaglio. Emaglio. I thought this was a really cool looking design. Some of y'all who suggested that I do something like this had actually said that I should design and print my own and I would love to do that actually, but to really design a proper quadcopter, it just it takes time. Also, there's so many designs already created out there that are really good, like this one. So I thought this would be an opportunity to showcase someone else's work, kind of put it to the test. So there will be a link to this design on Thingiverse in the description. Check it out if you're into 3D printing. Also, apologies, I don't have an HD cam on this. So the only footage we're going to get is the FPV feed that like I'm flying off of. So. I think it's dead. None of the <laughs> none of the plastic actually broke. Just the bolts pulled out of the holes. So, all right. So we've sort of, kind of pieced it back together. <laughs> Have you learned anything in the flying process? An idiot. Is this gonna work? that it crashed and smashed. I'm a little annoyed that I didn't get more than what I think was 30 seconds of flying, but I don't know it was really, really shaky as you saw, and it was just making all sorts of bad sounds. You just gotta improve how it bolts together, dampen the flight board, and uh, we will try this again. But while we're here, we'll do one quick round with, um, with one of my real drones. semi-successful parking garage visit. I'm sorry that there wasn't more actual flying of the 3D printed drone. I'll make sure to put fail in the title or something, so hopefully you know right off the bat. It was still fun. I still consider it successful because 
What I wanted to get done today was I wanted to finish building it and I wanted to fly it. I did do those things technically, even though the flying was very, very brief. So, yeah, this uh, could have gone better. Um, I think the mistake here was going straight for a parking garage and uh, not dealing with the crazy vibration issue. So I'll rebuild this at some point because uh, it's a great design. Uh, again, link in the description. This was a fun project. I had a good time. I'm sorry there wasn't more for you guys to see, but I hope you still enjoyed coming along on my day with me. Love getting to share all this with you guys. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you for watching. Lots more cool stuff coming. Uh, all the suggestions you guys have sent me for the winter, awesome stuff. It almost makes me excited for the snow. Uh, thanks for watching. See you really soon.